Hello, and thanks for coming to the Health Center today to receive your COVID-19 vaccine. My name is Dr. Julia DeJoseph, and I'm going to talk a bit about the COVID-19 vaccine to prepare you for your shot. I hope to answer commonly asked questions and give you a little bit more information on what to expect after receiving the vaccine. If you have questions after this presentation, please let the team know and they'll have a provider come and speak with you. At our health centers, we offer two vaccines, the Pfizer vaccine and the Moderna vaccine. Both of these vaccines work incredibly well and they are both mRNA vaccines. All of our staff have received either the Moderna or the Pfizer, so the team can talk to you about their personal experiences if you have questions. There are a few differences between the two vaccines. Pfizer has been approved for people ages 12 and older, whereas Moderna has been approved for ages 18 and older. Pfizer and Moderna are both two-shot vaccines. For Pfizer, the second shot is due in three weeks, and you will, give your, you will be given an appointment in three weeks to have your second shot. Moderna's second shot is due in four weeks, and you will be given an appointment for four weeks after today to receive your second shot. Otherwise, these vaccines are pretty much the same. Both of these vaccines tend to leave the arm where you got your shot pretty sore. Tomorrow, you'll probably feel like we gave you a solid punch to the arm. So you may have some pain at that site. You may notice some redness and swelling as well. Do not worry, these are common side effects from the vaccines. Other effects you might notice in the next 24 hours are feeling really tired, having headaches, muscle aches. You may even get a fever or chills, and some people experience nausea. Other people experience no symptoms whatsoever. I certainly hope you're part of this last group. However, if you feel any of the other side effects, please don't worry. They usually go away in 24 to 48 hours but you may feel like you have a pretty severe cold in the next 24 to 48 hours. I'm gonna talk in a few slides about things you can do to make yourself feel better. This is a sign that your immune system is working and the vaccine is working well. The vaccine cannot give you COVID, so please do not worry that it has caused you to become sick with COVID-19. Really, these are just normal side effects, even if a little unpleasant from the vaccine. But like I said, a lot of people don't have these side effects and that's my hope for you but I do like you to know what to expect, just in case. After your vaccine, you are welcome to take medications like Tylenol, which is also called acetaminophen. You can take ibuprofen, Motrin, Advil, Naproxen, or Aleve, as long as these are normal meds that your provider or doctor would let you take. Additionally, you can apply a cool wet cloth to your arm. Sometimes this helps the swelling and the pain. Um, we recommend that you actually try to keep your arm moving. Um, you don't have to do it constantly, but holding your arm really still can stiffen up the muscles. So don't be afraid to move your arm and use it as feels comfortable. And finally, drinking plenty of water is important because staying hydrated will help you just feel generally better. We have not had any serious side effects for our patients from the vaccine. But if after 24 hours, you notice that that arm redness and tenderness is getting worse, please give us a call. Additionally, if you're just really worried about your side effects, give us a call. There's a doctor on call for 24 hours a day through our clinics. Or if your symptoms don't feel to be going away after a few days, we'd like you to give us a call as well. We're always here for any questions you may have. In the event that you have a severe allergic reaction, like swelling in your mouth or face, difficulty breathing, severe chest pain, or a severe headache that doesn't go away with Tylenol or ibuprofen, please call 911 as these may be signs of a more severe allergic reaction. We've been fortunate in that we haven't seen this and in any of our, our patients, but we think it's important that you're prepared in case any of these severe symptoms occur. After your vaccine, here are a few tips. We'd like to make sure you keep your vaccine card that you'll receive today in a nice safe place. And please remember to bring back that card for your second shot so we can write the date of your second vaccine. You are considered fully vaccinated and protected two weeks after your second shot. 
So until two weeks after your second shot, please continue to act like you have not been vaccinated, which means following state and local guidelines about social distancing, masking, and other recommendations for those who are not vaccinated. Thank you so much for coming. Please let us know if you have any questions that we have not covered here. Our team will be with you in a moment to give you your vaccine and answer any remaining questions. Have a great day.